your girl Yasle and right now I'm just reviewing the Potomac Real Housewives of Potomac um, trailer I don't know but like it's kind of it wasn't giving like first of all I did like how it like the trailer looked like a sitcom where it was kind of like like a 70s show that's what it looked like to me um granted I was not even thought about in the 70s but <laughs> so that is just what it seemed it could have been a different era but it seemed to me like it was supposed to be like a, a 70s show but it just it just really gave me nothing like I saw that there's a new girl named like NECA or something like that and I was hoping that her and Wendy were going to be friends because she looks to me like she might be Nigerian so I was hoping that my girl Wendy would have a, a partner but then they like kind of turned on each other and and this is a sidebar but when are they going to get some women that wear natural hair okay because a lot of these women don't even live in Potomac they live in PG County and when you look at the average PG County woman they have natural hair this is not an accurate depiction of how people in 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 the DMV look as black women like most black women in PG County are rocking their natural hair so i'm i'm just like hoping that they they find like somebody that's a real AB with natural hair okay so that's just that's the first thing I just want to point out there because we're not just walking around here looking like um toddlers and tiaras every single day like most women like and I don't have a problem with wigs I wear wigs shoot but I'm just saying like most women in PG County wear braids they wear their natural hair and like I said a lot of the women don't even wear what they wear um so that's the first thing the second thing was i didn't like how the new girl was like the first thing we see about her is like oh thank you for buying me a two million dollar house and my dad was a rich b word and so he made me a rich b word first of all if you're close with your dad and he you call him a b word like <laughs> i was like dang that's kind of that's kind of a crazy way to describe your father who made you a rich person i just thought that that was a little bit weird and then I always find people that talk about how much stuff costs. They just are annoying to me. So I'm thinking that this girl, she's going to be annoying, but we'll see. And and then it just seemed like like they, like they I didn't understand what the story was for the trailer. Like, I like when a trailer leaves you like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what happens next. But for me, it was kind of just like, okay, like if I see it, I see it, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to be like jumping over myself to watch Real Housewives of Potomac because it just didn't it wasn't like giving but you know like and then like robin was like crying on the the bus i actually think robin is relatively cool wendy got her together though sometimes i'd be like back and forth with robin though because i think robin is cool overall um but like sometimes like her situation with one first of all one with the cop and state situation with like the the uh, assault and abuse stuff was kind of strange so it got me looking at him in a in a weird way, to be quite honest with you. But um, so yeah, I'm already kind of like side eye and wan if I'm being honest with you because I don't really deal with people who who um, are complicit in the in the um, allegedly complicit in the um, what can I what should I say like the um when people oh and the taking advantage of the youth i just i just don't i don't like that kind of stuff i don't like when people victimize the youth in any way shape or form i don't like when people victimize people in general but especially when they're victimizing the youth i don't think it's the cool thing at all so i was already kind of side eyeing Juan, if i'm being honest but the fact is like i don't know that man but i so I was like, okay, well, Robin's finally saying, I mean, Giselle's finally saying something to Robin about Juan, but like, you know how they be like cutting stuff. And then I thought like Sharice was supposed to be involved because I saw her in some pictures, but I didn't see her in the commercial. So I was like, is she like a friend or what? But like Sharice just seems to be a big old hater of, of um, Karen. Like Karen is like the main act of that show as far as I'm concerned. Like if Karen Huger ever left Real Housewives of Potomac. She's like their Nene Leaks, but just like it's like she's like uh, the pillar of the show. And like no matter what's going on, like Karen's always in somebody's mix somewhere. She's like to me, Karen is an irreplaceable castmate. And just like when Nene left Real Housewives of Atlanta, they haven't been the same since. Like I haven't watched an episode. Like I be watching Real Housewives of Atlanta sometimes, but like 
once Bravo honestly like added something so I can't watch it through the, the app anymore like I was I haven't really been watching that much anyway but like once Nene left Real Housewives of Atlanta the franchise kind of just like went down some to be honest so I just want Nene to like um like Karen they need to like make sure they do Karen right because she's definitely a pillar of of Real Housewives of Potomac with that being said um you know, and Giselle brings the tea too, but like there's some big, there's some people that you just can't replace. And so it just seems to me like Sharice, like, and I think she had like a blonde wig. I'm like, all the stuff you were talking about, um, Karen, and here you are wearing a, a Karen wig and, and just not really serving us what we need. And I used to think Sharice was cool, like in the first season, but I don't know. She just seems to, to me to be like stuck up for no reason. You know, like, ah, I don't know. It's just a show, but that's how I felt. And I was just kind of like, uh, like it was just to me a little bit underwhelming. So, but you know, the, the girls always give the drama. Okay. And when they be reading people to fill, um, Robin, I don't know. I like Robin. She seemed like she's a really cool person, but the way she's depicted on the show is just kind of like, she could be a friend and I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily miss her as a main cast member. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, she, she's not to me. She doesn't bring enough to, and it's, it seemed like she has other things in her life that she's dealing with, but like, she's not so open with it. Like, I want to know what's going on. I want to know about the case. Like, and, and we didn't get any of that on the show. We, I wanted to know like how she was feeling. I wanted to know how she thought when Juan got caught with that, with the, that woman, you know, all the things. Like, I wanted to know more about that. And it seemed like, Robin wants to be on the show, but she doesn't want to be on the show. Like she doesn't want to like reveal everything. That's why I'm saying like, I think Robin should just be a friend of the cast at this point because she's not really giving us much. And then Giselle too. Like I wanted to know more about how she felt about um what's her baby her um that dude's name Jamal. I wanted to learn more because she still her name is Giselle Bryant. She hasn't changed her last name, and I've noticed when women do that, it's for a reason. So I, I wanted to know more about how she felt. And to me, it seems like Giselle is one of those women that's like so tough and she like turns her emotions off. But I think we would do well to have a vulnerable moment from Giselle because it seems like she's had so much pain in her life. And that's what I've noticed when women or people have so, they've dealt with so much that they just go emotionally numb and they don't let anybody and they don't say anything. They're very, very callous and and, and just kind of quiet. They don't they don't express their emotions. They don't do good with feelings and stuff like that. And like now she has this like boy toy and I think like do you boo boo. But I wanna get I want more emotion from Giselle. I want more vulnerability from her. I wanna learn more about like like what does she experience? I think what would be really cool with these franchises is if they like gave us a little bit more background into how they became who they are, some more character development because like they just throw these people at us and we don't know we don't know anything about these people from a can of paint so i would like to learn more about like their childhood more like when they went to karen's um old neighborhood or whatever and and like we got to learn more about how karen was as a, as a person i would like to learn more about how all of these women are as people and who who they how they grew up who were they what did they do in school what were their their aspirations and like are they who they want to be and then like Candace, I, I like Candace and I like Ashley, but I'm hoping that Ashley without Michael is a little bit more, you know, nicer, <laughs> even though that show is not a nice thing. I think, cause I honestly think that if, I think that Candace is a bit jealous of Ashley, to be quite honest with you. I think she has like a light skin thing going on, a colorism thing within her own self, to be quite frank. And that's why she's so harping on it. Um, so that I'm just gonna leave that there right now and I think that I think that Candace just has like a natural jealousy thing to Ashley just because of the light skin um and I'm not saying that I don't think that Candace loves who she is but I just just different things I've noticed I'm like why does she come so hard at Ashley and maybe it's because they're the same size too I don't know but I think that if Ashley and and Candace throws some really really low digs at Ashley as well and I just don't I think that like it just seemed like it comes from somewhere other than just like what Ashley did at that moment. You know what I'm saying? So 
I think I would like to see Candace be a little bit more authentic. I want to just see all of them be a little bit more authentic about like who they actually are as people and why they feel the way that they do, why they think the way that they do, and, and, and just get to know them on a personal level. I think that that would add some depth to the, to the group. And like women in PG County or in the DMV are like really real. And I, and like, I'm from this area. So like, I want to see women that don't like always, um, code switch. You feel me? Like, like what do, what are they actually like? Cause I be feeling like sometimes like this is how they are, but like, it's like, it's, you can tell that it's a show and it's been, it's been getting a lot more like vindictive. It used to be like a fun show, like with like shade and blah, 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 blah. But like, I don't want to see what grown women fighting, like physically fighting and like, like saying how your womb is shriveled up and you shouldn't have children like that kind of stuff is kind of like rude af and it seems like the show is getting more and more vindictive more and more mean like i love a good petty shade but like women in pg county are also big on camaraderie and community i want to see them doing more community work i want to see them out in the community giving back you know not just like oh let's have a toy drive and, and one time like i want to see them in schools i want to see them like really doing what what women in this community do you know what i'm saying like be a like a, a real because they, they have an opportunity to be like real pillars of society and i just i just want to see more authenticity from them so either way it's always a good it's always a good show but i just felt like there's a lot to be desired and i just didn't really i thought that the um thing was like really kind of uh, like what happened to Ascala she like my girl Ascala like she was uh, the epitome of what a DMV boo boo is okay like Ascala was was fire she her, had a good husband but you know what it's probably for the best that they're not on that show because it seems like reality tv ruins relationships and marriages but like she was someone like if she had a, a apple or whatever the heck they give the people Real Housewives of Potomac people, if she had one, they would be good because Ascala was like everything that we would want a PG, like a, a DMV housewife to be. She she was that. So I think they need some more real people, some more like down to earth people because that woman, the first thing she said was that her dad is a rich B word. And I was like, wow, like, <laughs> like, and thank you for buying me this this house like so I know she's gonna it's giving it was off-putting because I just like people that do that I always be like well what what are you trying to hide like what's the void here because you got to tell everybody how much you have so it's clear that you don't have something you're lacking something and so you want everyone to pay attention to what you have monetarily so that's just what I thought about it and I'm looking forward to the season actually I honestly forgot about Real Housewives of Potomac until I saw the preview so I'm excited to see what they bring to the table. And um, yeah, so just stay tuned and I'll stay tuned for you.